hello guys welcome back in today's video i will do yet another unboxing video for you this time i have ordered an amazing new orchid from a new flower shop from here in romania and uh, you can see i am more and more inclined in buying orchids from my country because the shipping is taking only 24 hours and it is amazing because the orchids won't get stressed and won't suffer either from cold either from heat so uh, this is very very good in any season and with that said let's get started On the bottom of the box I have this uh, string that it's keeping my orchid in place. This is a very original way to pack orchids. It is uh, harder to take it out from the box but uh, it is very very stable. It's really really nice. So okay guys, I hope you can see this is a snail and I have checked inside the medium, the medium is horrible, it's really really stinky and decomposed and acidic and uh, I didn't yet get the chance to say to you which orchid is this, this is a Miltoniopsis Benito Q, this smells amazing and uh, the pattern on the blooms is also very very pretty. What a beautiful fragrance and uh, I have here another spike with three buds and uh, I have a small bulb here, one here. It, I can see some very fine uh, wrinkles and this is because this orchid is basically rootless. Here you go. And um, I also have a new pseudo bulb here that is actually my hope. The shoot is quite big and uh, I can see the roots has have been munched and unfortunately they are completely dehydrated and desiccated so uh, they won't help me much but if i uh, report this orchid right now she will most probably push up some new roots from this uh, pseudo bulb which is pretty amazing i hope it does it won't produce uh, also some spikes because uh, right now to be quite honest i should uh, cut the spikes to save uh, this orchid some energy but the blooms guys are so so big and pretty they have this girlish pinkish color that is amazing it's very very pretty the blooms are very light large you can see they are as big as my palm and uh, i have here some uh, darker purple stripes with this beautiful red waterfall on the lip surrounded by the white color and uh, it's pretty amazing because it has so so many sparkles it's beautiful and the fragrance is amazing unfortunately some of the blooms are a little bit damaged but that is okay because uh I will keep this orchid in bloom for uh, maybe a week maximum and after that most probably I will cut the spikes because uh, well depending what I will find in the medium actually I will take you along for that because I think it is really interesting to see how this orchid will develop and I want to show to you how I will proceed to report her. I really hope I will still find a few alive roots here. All these ones are uh, mushy and dead, unfortunately. <laughs> but that is that. I hope she will survive. She should because uh, she has quite a lot of energy and uh, these pseudo bulbs. And the fact that I have that big new growth gives me hope because that is the age when... Um, that is the size when a Miltoniopsis uh, new growth starts to produce more and more roots and uh, although she already has produced some roots that have been munched off by snails, she can uh, do very well because uh, that new growth is still able to produce more roots. So yeah guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and if this is the first time you are watching a video on my channel, please consider subscribing to it so you can stay up to date with all my orchid videos. I try to post regularly. Thank you for watching and see you all next time. Bye!